Hi everyone, it's Steelbook Steven, and do Steelbook Review on Die Hard with a Vengeance, or Die Hard 3. Uh, this release here was from Play.com, and we're noticing a change in terms of artwork. We don't have the same uh, very cool, very dynamic artwork that we saw with Part 1 and Part 2, and I think that's in part due to the fact that um, Part 3 was released by Buena Vista uh, overseas and not by Fox, so for that reason I think we don't have that same type of artwork. Uh, we do get this, uh, you know, banner uh, of uh, the city. Uh, we know that that first scene plays an important role in terms of New York, what ends up happening there. Um, black matte finish, uh, you know, on the front. Uh, we got the same thing here, the whole cityscape on the back. Uh, matte finish. Uh, and then interior, there was no interior artwork. I did place some customized artwork. I thought, uh, why not give the uh, villain and the... Uh, uh, accomplice, or not the accomplice, the uh, sidekick here, some, some, uh, not a sidekick, I guess you could say co-star is not really a sidekick here, uh, some, some screenplay here, some, some time, uh, which we have, um, Sam Jackson and, uh, Jeremy Irons' character here, uh, both, yeah, ready to go for the film. Uh, so again, a little disappointed with the artwork because it's matte finish, it's not very interesting or dynamic, there was no interior artwork, unlike... Uh, part 1 and 2. In terms of special features, however, all the special features are there. They're put, ported over, so uh, you're you're covered there. And in terms of collectability, yeah, there's no other Steelbook version out there, so this is the one to go with at this time and at this point in time.